Previously on The Potentialists. You never know who, what, when, and how many people will show up. We should start planning for Belize 2014. And then you're gonna stay in Placentia right through until the 23rd. I just, I can't wait for the next tour. What are you gonna do? Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. The International Championship Cup organized by Guinness here in the U.S. This year you had eight teams. You had AC Milan, Juventus, Chelsea, Everton, Inter Milan, Valencia, LA Galaxy from the US, and Real Madrid. Those were the eight teams which played in different stadiums across the country. We are at the Sun Life Stadium. Soccer is a very, very, very people-oriented sport. Every single stadium has its own voice. If you go to a stadium in Mexico, stadium in Seattle, or a stadium in Miami, at the Sun Life Stadium, they were not particularly cheering for, for a team. They wanted to see goals and a performance. The first day we went to soccer, it was Inter versus Juventus. The game ended 1-1 and it had to go to penalties. We were privileged to watch 11 goals after penalties. 5-5 was the score still. The first team to miss a goal practically loses. One of the things that I really enjoyed about going to the game wasn't so much the game, even though it was the first time I've ever seen a soccer game, and also seeing it in front of over 65,000 people was really cool. It was actually spending quality time with a good friend. How many times do we go around being so busy and being caught up with life that you miss out those special moments? So to me, it was a great time just spending time with my friend. Whoa, the championship day. Second day, the, the, it was the championship matches, and it was the first game was LA Galaxy versus AC Milan. I saw David Beckham's team, and I was looking for David Beckham. I know he retired. <laughs> it was an exciting match again of skills and display. Goal! Goal! In the halftime, they had that music, the rave, man. The music and the light combination, you know, it's just exciting to watch. Then the second game, Real Madrid versus Chelsea. Cristiano Ronaldo stole the show all night long. Spectacular show that night. It was a great showing, especially by the champions, Real Madrid. Getting out of the stadium, no, no. Imagine, you go excited in a stadium to watch a game, and you may forget the entry that you went through. Park on the west side, and when we came out, <laughs> we came out on the east side. So we had to walk all around the stadium. So lesson number one, when you go to a big stadium that can hold six to 7,000 people, make sure you know where you're parking. There's people everywhere like a swarm of bees just moving towards the parking lot. And don't mention about getting out in your vehicle because... Hey yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowler World. Feel me?